Hello, Patreon. It's Ralph, and we're doing a trailer breakdown for No Time to Die, which is Bond 25. Uh, I asked about this on the Secret Society Facebook page, and you guys want to see it. Um, it should be interesting. This is my first time doing a James Bond uh, trailer breakdown, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Um, for those of you that this is your first time seeing one of these, uh, thanks for joining Patreon. Um, be sure to watch this trailer uh, before you watch this. Uh, just go to James Bond 007 at uh, YouTube. Uh, watch the trailer. I'm going to start and stop and go through it uh, right off the bat. Uh, let's get into this. All right. Get to yours yet. All right, right off the bat, we have our first Aston Martin. And what's interesting about this scene is here you have I don't know what city this is, uh, but you have James Bond driving in the Aston Martin DB5 with uh, Madeline Swan. That's where we left Inspector. Uh, he decided to retire, give up his double O status and uh, live his life with her. Um, what's interesting here, and I heard this on the James Bonding podcast, they did a sort of breakdown on this too. If you look at him here in the car, he's wearing this outfit, he's all bloodied up. He's not wearing a tie. Now we see him here getting shot at on the bridge, all bloodied up, and he is wearing a tie. So I'm only gonna assume that after this amazing stunt right here, the swing across he's gonna end up down below maybe run through these little uh, tunnels and get into his DB5 to make his escape that's pretty awesome I like that they happen to have these here just for him to get over it look at that oh real stunt most likely I don't know who these bad guys are this could be a pre-title sequence. Um, I'm not saying that a lot of these trailers are done chronologically, but from where we left off of Inspector, I could see this is where uh, we continue. So let's watch this again. Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. So why would she betray him? We don't know uh, how she betrayed him, if she even has. But um, it sounds like possibly they might have uh, not gotten to know each other well in the last few years. So we will see what happens. faster than we can respond this is interesting universal logo I don't think any of the James Bond movies have ever had a universal logo on it that's really interesting I wonder if Comcast has something to do with it maybe Comcast now owns MGM MGM's been around a long time uh, for James Bond so that's interesting and then you have this cool kind of rotating shot of these guys breaking into a uh, this sort of blue fluorescent building. Uh, later we see uh, Blofeld in a similar building. So I'm wondering if he's going to be escaping. Um, we have this little bomb. Once again, who knows how these scenes are edited together. If this is, if this here is part of this here, could be. The hallways look a little different. These are like diner doors or something. I don't know what this, what this room is, but uh, guy's breaking in and then this dude has sort of this mohawk I think we see James Bond taking out a dude with a similar haircut so I don't know if this all is together these guys in the suit this explosion this explosion and, uh, and this dude here going out in the elevator is he by himself yeah, he's by himself 
Then we get M. Where's 007? I need a favor, brother. You're the only one I trust for this. Okay, something interesting here. You have M asking for 007. Okay. And then you have 007 on his sort of vacation area. I think this is Jamaica. But then you have Felix Leiter, who's an American, asking James Bond for a favor. Now, if James Bond retired in the last movie... <laughs> why would he be getting a favor from Felix Leiter, an American agent? And why would M be asking for 007? If 007 is retired... <laughs> Maybe he's not talking about James Bond. So I have a feeling he's talking about the uh, the other double O in the, um, the female double O that we see later in the trailer. So this may not have anything to do with James Bond. He's looking for 007. Meanwhile, James Bond is getting some sort of, some sort of mission from Felix Leiter. So I have a feeling this might be a teaser. They're asking for where's 007. And it's going to be like, what? A lady? So that's my thought. Where's 007? I need a favor, brother. You're the only one I trust for this. And are they in Jamaica here? This could be a Jamaican nightclub. So it might be part of uh, this Jamaican area. Maybe Felix is on this boat. I can't see who's in that boat, but maybe this is Felix. He goes to James Bond. They go to a Jamaican nightclub, similar to Dr. No, and then uh, he asks him for this favor, and it might be a side mission. The world's moved on, Commander Bond. You were double O. Two years. So stay in your lane. You get in my way. I will put a bullet in your knee. Okay. There's a lot to unpack here. So, first of all, James Bond has this Aston Martin, which looks similar to the one that you see in Honor Majesty's Secret Service and The Living Daylights. That's my favorite style of Aston Martin of all the James Bond movies. It looks more like a muscle car. Uh, it's not sort of uh, rounded like the DB5 from Goldfinger that we saw at the beginning of this trailer. And it's not kind of sleek, futuristic, like we saw in Spectre. Uh, we see another Aston Martin, yet again, from this double O agent that's been in working for MI6 for two years. So possibly, I'm assuming, he's been retired for two years, living in Jamaica. Felix comes to him and asks him to help him out with this thing. M calls 007, who is this lady who's been 007 for the last two years, and her mission is happens to be part of whatever Felix Leiter's doing because if you look here I don't know what this place is but here she looks like she's in that Jamaican nightclub so Felix's mission and M's mission both happen to evolve James Bond and her 007 that's my theory we'll see what happens by the way, here's the third Aston Martin we see. Uh, it's very, very sort of futuristic and sleek. But I got to say, it's pretty awesome looking. I mean, listen, don't get me wrong. Any Aston Martin is awesome. Uh, what's with the... <laughs> a little bit of a gut. Uh, definitely feels retired. Um, sort of looks like he's in the middle of a walk of shame or something. Is This This is kind of looks like a, a bathrobe almost. <laughs> I would say he's going for a morning walk, but he's wearing loafers. So who knows? But uh, look at her. She's great. Machine gun. James Bond books. I wonder if it has the birds of the West Indies in there. Chess. So it's probably like maybe a nod to uh, From Russia With Love. This is just more of, I'm assuming, his, his his retirement home. This thing over here, like a little... Uh, I thought it was a dog or a, like a little bowl or something. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know.
don't know who this is jump kicking this dude but is this a is this a similar outfit to what james bond was wearing in the car shot no it's different here she is hiding in the shadows is that shot reversed so that looked like it could be it could go either way either she's popping out of the shadows or she's going into the shadows it's pretty cool yeah this aston martin's pretty sleek looking Look at those fingerless gloves. So I think she's the new 007. And I have some theories about what's going to happen. So this is what I think is going to happen in the movie. We This is the Daniel Craig's last movie. And uh, Casino Royale, his first movie, um, sort of rewrote history and told the beginning origins of James Bond. And I have a feeling this is going to rewrite history by showing his retirement. I think by the end of this movie, James Bond will completely retire. I don't think he'll die. I don't think they'll do that. But he'll be completely out of MI6 done. I have a feeling the next 007 movie uh, will not be called Bond 25. It'll be called, or Bond 26, it'll just be 007 movie 26, and it'll star her. I don't know her character's name, but I'm thinking this is a way for them to be able to ease us into a female 007. And I think it would be pretty smart to do it this way. Um, and it might be pretty interesting. I, I mean, I'm all for a female 007. Um, but I think the way the internet works and the world works, people would raise a stink. So this is kind of cool that the, if they do this, uh, it'll be really interesting to watch the franchise as we move forward. But I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that this is what happens. Because we've had 20, this is our 25th movie with this character um, and it'll be kind of a nice change of pace to see it, you know, a completely new character in the 007 role. So we'll see. Let me know what you think. It's kind of bold, but, uh, I don't know. We'll see. You get in my way, I will put a bullet in your knee. The one that works. I thought you two would get along. So this is probably after they meet up. So they're hanging out. It looks like she's in a fight in Jamaica. Could be wrong. James Bond there is there and gets called back to MI6. Um, right here, if you look. Look at what he's wearing. It's a visitor pass. I just noticed he's wearing a visitor pass. So he's not. He has. He's done. He's out of it. And so she's, I, she's got to be 007. If she's not, the producers are being pussies about it. They've got to pull the trigger on this. She's 007. This is a freaking visitor pass. So we'll see. So this is probably after whatever this skirmish in, in that Felix Leiter has and which M has her doing, whatever the skirmish is, they're coming together. Uh, M <laughs> called him in to MI6, uh, and uh, <laughs> it, he's a visitor. Look, it flat out says visitor on his badge, and this is clearly MI6. Oh, this is so good! And look at how pissed she is. She just wants nothing to do with Bond, and Bond is just like he probably just is so excited to be in there and just to like, like after being retired, go back into MI6 and just like raise hell. Uh, and just be a nuisance. I'm sure him coming face to face with Q is going to be super comedic. It's going to be like, like their relationship is already uh, a, a relationship of annoyance. And I just, he's just going to be a shit when he's not an employee and he's here visiting MI6 as a visitor. Do you get along? Name? Bond. James Bond. <laughs> okay, so look at this. This is the same suit 
look at the blue, the the gray suit with the blue tie and the and the clip. So this is him first coming back to MI6 and checking in at the front desk, and the he's the same suit, the clip, the blue tie. He's coming in, and this guy who's working the front desk already has no idea who he is. It's been two years, and James Bond is forgotten. <laughs> so he tells him Bond. And the guy's like, uh, am I supposed to know who that is? And he says James Bond, which is a great twist on the classic Bond, James Bond line. This movie might be the fucking greatest movie ever. Um, man, I am so excited already. Like, we're we're not even halfway through this trailer, and I'm already getting excited for, for the stuff we're seeing now. James Bond. Hello to you, I've missed you. Oh my god, look at that. See? Their relationship already... Look at look at her face. She, he's so smug right here. Look how smug he is. And then she's just eating it up. Look at... She brought him right to Q's doorstep. And James Bond's just gonna fuck with Q and she knows it. Look how much fun they're having. Oh god, this is so good. Bond. So you're not dead. Hello, Q. I've missed you. <laughs> and then he just lets himself right in <laughs> without, like, permission. So here's Q's house. What's kind of cool is he's got, like, a little a little gadget monitor here. Uh, he has a bike chain here and a bike helmet here. So as much as, in, as he's into technology, he is clearly rides his bike to work. And so he's into like conserving energy or whatever, but I like that he rides a bicycle. It's the most valuable asset this country has. If you feel yourself losing control, I'm not going to lose control. Okay, couple things. So here's who I'm calling 007. I don't know her name yet. And you have uh, Madeline Swan, and they're coming face to face. It seems like for the first time in a while. So maybe maybe this is the opening sequence. And then we get all this other stuff. And they have like separated. And this is the first time in two years that uh, James Bond come, has come face to face with Madeline Swan. Uh, so she's clearly um, doing some sort of report on Blofeld. And this is our first time that we have any confirmation that Christoph Waltz is repri reprising his role as, role as Blofeld. Um, this is crazy because he kept saying, I have nothing to do with this movie. I don't want to be in this movie. I'm not going to be in it. I'm out. But look it, he's here. And what's cool about this is, this is the first time that an actor has reprised the role as Blofeld. Uh, we've had... Um, We've had Donald Pleasance. We've had um, Charles Gray. And Charles Gray played a, a different character in a different in a previous Bond movie. He was uh, Henderson in You Only Live Twice, and then he became uh, he just as a totally different. He didn't become Blofeld, but he was Blofeld in uh, Diamonds Are Forever. And then Telly Savalas was Blofeld. Um, so this is kind of cool. This is the first time we actually see uh, Christoph Waltz. Um, portraying Blofeld in consecutive movies. So that's really neat. You gave up everything for her. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. What is it? Okay, let's look at his eye. So his eye is still a little jacked up <laughs> from the events of Spectre. Um, doesn't have the bald head yet, but I like that he's in this gray suit. It's very, uh, similar to, uh, sort of the gray jackets that Blofeld's, um, we're used to seeing. Um, this thing is interesting. We see this mask later on and Rami Malek is wearing it. So this has something to do with her. She knows what this mask is and it's clearly something that is emotional. So I'm interested to find out what her character has to do with uh, this Rami Malek character. Secret finds its way out. It'll be the death of you. What is it? 
is it? You don't know what this is. No. I don't know what it is. James Bond. License to kill. Look at this outfit. Suspenders. Pants. He's got like a <laughs> belt. License to kill. History of violence. Here's that mohawk I was talking about earlier. This sort of weird kind of haircut, dude. And is this from the opening sequence? This is definitely from when he's in that Aston Martin. And this is from a definitely a different scene. History of violence. I could be speaking to my own reflection. Oh, here's that mask again. And this doorway looks similar to the one that James Bond goes through. Right here. This. So could this, whoever this masked person is, I think it's Remy Malik. Remy Malik? Remy Malik? I don't know. Your skills die with Who's this? What's going on here? He's in the spotlight and he's surrounded by dudes and ladies in suits. Is this Spectre? Is he going to be able to get out of that? Uh, go see Knives Out. She's great in it. Body. Mine will survive long after I'm gone. History is... Who's this? I have no idea who this is. There's that mask thing. Look at that, dude. Is that... His face is all like... Ew. Yucky. <laughs> History isn't kind. Men who play God. What the? F Hold on. <laughs> There's so much. Okay, this thing. Okay, what? Okay, so his face is all scarred, but scarred less. It doesn't have like those blue lines. So he's that might be a flashback with the mask and he's like healed since then um this is him wearing that white shirt and sort of robe thing when the aston martin comes next to him this like land rover range rover thing look at that that's done this thing it's gonna go down there He's got like a spear gun. It's probably going to be a fake out. He's going to go see who's on that boat and it's going to be Felix. Rad. Whoa, look at that. Boom. Awesome. Boat exploding with a biplane. Not a biplane. What do they call these? Plane boats. Water boats. Look at this. I thought that was stairs. It's not even stairs. I thought the motorcycle went upstairs. <laughs> it goes up the side of this wall. Uh, it might be a little fake on that. And then these people, someone, someone's going to get hit. None of these guys are facing the motorcycle. And then what is this thing? It's like a baptism? Are these guys in scuba outfits? Does this guy look tied up to you? What am I seeing? Is this James Bond? And the bad guy? What is this, a cult? I don't know. More of this. Boom, explode, bam. So yeah, this is Palacio Velasquez. Maybe it's not Jamaica. 
Okay, this is cool. Here's Mohawk Dude again. Of course, we know the Aston Martin DB5 has bulletproof windows. Here he is without his tie. And what's cool is the twin fixed guns on the front. Of course, they're fixed, which means he can't shoot this guy over here or this guy over here. He can only shoot straight. So he does this badass, like, burnout donut thing. Oh. Still not crazy about the title, No Time to Die. Um, I like this sort of kind of like the gun barrel sequence. Cool. That's it. It looks awesome. I cannot wait. Uh, I hope that I'm right on some of these things. Uh, I don't want it to be something that's like totally obvious because it kind of will let me down. But at the same time, if they make the choices that I suggested here, that would be awesome as well. Uh, I look forward to watching this. Daniel Craig's final performance. Excited for it. Um, to see the retirement or end of James Bond would be really interesting. Um, and then to see the series go on with this new character, um, I'm all on board. Uh, she looks cool. She's badass. She's British. What else can you ask for? I mean, it's not like I'm going to skip out on the next 007 movie because it's not a dude. Um, no, that sounds awesome. I mean, dude, we have 25 movies with this character. Uh, why not change it up? Uh, do a run of them and then maybe when she's done we can get back to James Bond but not do these sort of serialized movies we can just get back to the, the single mission uh, self-contained stories so I'm up for anything man this looks great um, I don't know how long I've been recording I feel like I've, this is longer than any Star Wars trailer which I guess is kind of cool because um, I was afraid like what do you talk about in a James Bond trailer? Because at least with Star Wars trailer breakdowns, I can like point at spaceships and stuff. But a lot of speculation on this one. This is like two and a half minute long, two and a half minute long trailer, and it's just a teaser. So um, April it comes out. Uh, definitely gonna do some sort of show on that. And I think I like the way this video went. So the next time we get a Bond trailer, um, I'm definitely gonna get it up on the site. Uh, once again, thank you very much for the support. And uh, yeah, James Bond will return in 2020. I was born with this unlucky sneeze. And what is worse, I came into the world the wrong way round. Pundits all agree that I'm the reason why my father fell into the village pond and drowned.